Yeah, I think there's, there's two types of photos I really like taking. One is a, is a photo that makes you maybe really want to be in that situation. Scottish skier skiing down like a powder filled slope and it's somewhere really beautiful like that that makes you really want to be in that moment and be like wow I'm really jealous of that skier skiing that line or the other one is a more storytelling kind of photo I think that perhaps makes you want to be anywhere but that situation at the time halfway up a cliff somewhere really remote and the weather's turned horrific and that looks like a really nasty situation to be in. So I was actually born in London and then the family grew too big for the place so we moved up to Cambridge and there used to be a scout unit attached to my school. When we got a bit older and that we used to go off on expeditions and trips a bit further afield and I remember for that I, I got a 35mm film camera. And I remember it being quite exciting because I had no idea if I'd come back with anything usable. And then I moved up to Scotland and Glasgow for university to study engineering. I don't think I really knew what I wanted to do back then. I think I quickly realised that that wasn't something I wanted to do long term as a career. If you told me 10 years ago that I'd be doing this now, I would never have believed you. I played a lot of rugby while at university and they actually started to get some sort of spinal injury. So the doctor basically medically wrote me off and said you couldn't play anymore. Which at the time was pretty devastating. However, it led to me freeing up more time to start getting out into this, exploring the Scottish Highlands. So it turned out to be a bit of a blessing in disguise. And I started to take photos again. And initially it was just taking photos on my phone. But then I was starting to see the work of other adventure and mountain sports photographers that were making a living out of it. And I started to get quite inspired by what they were doing. I invested in a decent camera. Eventually I started to take the photography more and more seriously, so I was going out before work, three, four in the morning, go and scramble up some ridge, get to the top in time for sunrise. That's probably around the point where I started to think, this is something I've actually found that I'm really passionate about. And I hadn't really had anything like that before in life. Is it something that I could maybe do if I put my mind to it? make a living out of it. I knew in my head that if I didn't at least try and give it a go, then I'd spend the rest of my life wondering what if. It's looking pretty grim most of the day tomorrow, yeah. It's not looking too positive. But the morning could be good. You're constantly fighting around conditions and you've always got to have lots of backup plans to fall back on when the weather doesn't let you go with the first plan, so. As in there's loads of routes there, so you can always get a few done and then beat the weather. The views up there are something else, aren't they? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You've got to be chilled out about it and go with what the weather lets you do. One of Hamish's biggest quality, he's, there's just no faff. Like we just literally, we just go and climb as if he wasn't there, no photographer. And we come away with some amazing shots. And he doesn't really impose or ask you to stage anything. He just shoots from the hip, but it seems to work really, really well. As a photographer, you might be tempted to, to try and, you know, hurry things along to get climbers into that position where you think you're going to get that shot. You know, he's, he's so patient, so stubborn in a way that he's quite happy just to sit there and 
on the off chance that that position will come along rather than trying to make it happen. Which is why when he does get a really good photograph, it tends to have that really sort of natural on-stage feel to it. I only do it on the running shoes. <laughs> you like running. <laughs> well, we can get that one there. Yeah. It would make quite a cool shot if you could pick a line up that. I find it far more interesting taking photos of people interacting with the mountains and, and the emotions that people get out of uh, doing the kind of really hard ascents that people like Greg and Guy are going off and doing. You've got a whole array of emotions you're going through in the day. That sort of fear and doubt as to whether you could get up this thing. Or... wild Scottish cliff and you're showing off and it looks absolutely terrifying and the weather's blown in and you've got a photo of someone who's looking absolutely petrified halfway with B-Lane and you've captured that emotion that's my dream shot to kind of get and obviously I'm not wanting to set up photos Scotland does tend to fly under the radar a bit in terms of mountainous areas compared to the Alps, which we obviously have very close to us. I'm constantly toying with the idea of, is Scotland the best place for me to be or do I want to move elsewhere? But it's something that's keeping me here. They don't look like mountains anywhere else in the world.